markets. The Fed is printing more money. They're not telling the world. And that news is going to come out soon. You know, where the Fed has got a balance sheet, which we call a black balance sheet. They're printing money without people knowing. And when that comes out, and I don't know when it's going to happen, but it, it will cost the new president to come in, clean house, clean the FBI, clean everything up, and then expose them. Otherwise, it won't come out. But what will happen here is that we're going to have another drop here as the rest of the world starts dumping U.S. dollar. Now, when they dump the U.S. dollar, it literally has to go back to America because America has to pick up that tab. Then America gives it to BlackRock and all these other countries say, please just buy stocks, like buy Apple stocks and all these other stocks. So they prop it up. And this is why BlackRock is one of the biggest companies in the world. BlackRock did not make money out of trading and because they're this smart. When the government gives you money, you just look smart and your balance sheet just goes up. They kind of like an extension of the Fed. And remember, the Fed is not a government organization. Many people don't know it. The Fed is just like a company like what you and I have. So what's here, what is going to happen here is that this is going to go directly into 2024. We're going to have a bit of turmoil here. Then what happens is the next president is going to cause the dollar to drop. And this dollar is going to drop into 2025. But then what's going to happen is the next president is going to say, make America great again. Bring up the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar needs to go back to glory days. It needs to go up to 120. You know, and then what happens is the U.S. dollar is going to rise and rise and rise and surpass this level. And then cryptocurrencies are going to literally have a very hard time. Because when this goes up here, cryptocurrencies are going to drop. Now, Biden is anti-cryptocurrencies. Okay, totally. He said that. But the previous president, who was Donald Trump, was a lot more anti-cryptos. So now you understand who can potentially win. But it's not to do with the name. It's got to do with the president that's going to come in. He's going to literally be forced to sustain that, you know, uh, move where you where you're going to have to take all the money that people are dumping and try and do something with it. Now, what can save the U.S. dollar here 